Sometimes short and sweet is the best way to be. Chinese tongue poems are written in only 20 words or so. Fascinated by the beauty and uniqueness of tongue poems, American writer and poet Chloe Garcia Roberts published her translated work of Li Shangyin's selected poems. Her journey with the Chinese language started in a random class in college. I ended up sitting in on a class on Chinese history and literature, and the teacher was a specialist in classical Chinese. She put up the character Xin on the board and explained that it meant both heart and mind. And that was that that hooked me. The fact that one word could encompass both the heart and mind, which are always at war with each other in in English and in Western culture, just what blew my mind. And I started studying Chinese at that point. Instead of translating works by world-renowned poets like Du Fu or Li Bai, Roberts was moved and inspired by Li Shangyin. During her exploration, she found that the works of this late Tang Dynasty poet were rarely translated in English. I, I first encountered his work in this general survey course of classical Chinese poetry um, because I was amazed that here was this almost abstract lyric poetry that uh, existed before I understood that there was abstraction in lyric poetry. This strain that he brought in, this mystery, um, this kind of lush density, almost collage-like effect uh, that he created with these uh, images, I had never encountered anything like it before. And um, that excited me. Uh, both to continue uh, an intensive study of his work and eventually to attempt to translate it. Translating Chinese into English is not an easy task. Conveying the meaning while maintaining the work's essence and beauty is a challenge for any translator. The Tang poem is especially hard, as it has a special rhyme and artistic composition. You know, I really think as a translator, uh, when you're bringing over a poem, you have to have um, a list of priorities uh, because it's impossible to bring over everything that that poem contains in the original language. I played around with the rhyme a little bit and it felt like in order to do that I would have to focus a little bit less on the beauty of the imagery. It wasn't coming across as much when I was focusing on the form. So I decided to leave the rhyme behind. I'm a, a poet and a writer myself, and I think that working with Chinese um, has taught me what English cannot do. It's taught me um, where the borders of English are, um, and it's taught me how to stretch English a little bit so that I can... Um, I did want the reader of these poems to get... To, I didn't want them to necessarily feel like they had been written in English. I wanted them to be just a little bit of the sensibility of the grammar or the way that uh, words are presented, the profundity of words um, that... Uh, the layer upon layer of illusion and echo and largeness of each of the characters. I wanted to bring a little bit of that over so that the reader could not just um, experience something of what Li Shangyin wrote, but also something of the classical Chinese, um, and because that's the language that he spoke through, that he wrote through, and that's an element of his work as well. For more information about Sinovision English Channel, you can find us online at ian.sinovision.net or follow our Facebook page, Sinovision Official. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Chu Xuan Lu.